All right, ready, ready. I am going to continue um, my series, if you want to call it there. I don't know if I named it that, but uh, on reviews on American-made uh, goods, um, small American companies that make uh, heirloom quality things. I've got to a point in my life where now, if I purchase something, I'll sit back and research it, look at look at it, and decide whether or not it's something that's going to last me, hopefully for the rest of my life, so I don't have to purchase it again. Uh, I haven't always thought that way. When I was younger, I didn't really care. I'd buy crap, um, throw it away, and our culture has become one of the throwaway culture. Um, not to get off on any tangents, but my house here, I surround myself in old things. I love things that have a story, a soul, um, from a time when people actually gave a shit about uh, the, the quality of products they made. Um, I try my best not to buy mass-produced crap from around the world. Now, with that being said, I'm not one of these people who think America is the greatest country in the entire world. Everyone else sucks. I don't believe that at all. I'm just a, uh, you know, I love my country, and I'm sure whatever country you're in, you feel the same way, and you want to see people in your country have jobs um, we in America kind of gotten away from that for, for a while we sent all of our jobs overseas because it was cheaper to make it in countries where they don't have labor laws um, some countries have child you know labor which is horrible that's for another topic so anyway today I'm going to talk about a company that I've mentioned in other videos I mentioned it in one of my favorite things videos but it definitely deserves its own video considering I've kind of acquired quite a few items from this company. Uh, I get a lot of texts from them when they're running sales and they're running a really good one right now. I'll buy one, get one free, which is amazing. So I went on and I was looking at their products and I bought leather goods from them. Uh, they, they work with wool, they work with leather, they work with, they make knives. And it's all handmade stuff here in America. So. I was looking at their knives and they really upped their knife game. I've bought a couple of knives from them in the past, which I really liked the design, but now they've really given them some more character. So instead of rambling on more, let's show you some of the stuff that they make. So they kind of are known for this knife design right here. So it's a little over seven inches long. Um, blade length is under five inches, but they're really known for this you know, index finger hole, this, that whole blade design. I'm sure they're not the only ones who've done it, but they definitely have perfected it. Now, this is called the blackout. Most of their blades in the past were like a polished steel. They've upgraded their steel now to a D2 uh, steel. Um, what I really like about this knife being blacked out, it's a black oxide, so it's more of like a patinaed finish. So if you can really see that, it's more like a matte, tumbled look to it so it looks kind of old it's not like a pvd coated you know um high gloss uh finish um this is more of like a like i said a patina an old look to it um the scales are from what i read on their site it's like a wood infused uh, resin wood infused resin so it's supposed to have the rigidity and strength of like a, a G, uh, g10 scales but using you know natural products. Uh, what I really like about their new knives is they're doing these brass uh, liners between the blade stock and the uh, scales. They also have brass pens, and then the lanyard hole is also brass. So over time, that will patina up really nice. Just a great feeling knife in your hand. Now, I've mentioned this many times in my videos, I have massive hands and most knives um, don't fit in my hand, but even choking back, Using the jumping on top of the blade, I can get a full, full four finger grip on it. Uh, and then I can even choke up putting my thumb on the top of the, the ridge of the blade up here. And I, I could do more fine cutting with it. So I got plenty of, uh, of uh, handle for that. Um, the, the scales, like I said, are like a wood infused resin. They're a very dull, matted looking finish. Just everything about this knife, um, I really loved when I saw it on their website. And it was $119. And then if you bought a, anything else on their site for equal or less, you got it for free. 
So I, of course, I bought another knife, which I don't have here because I'll explain it in a second. But again, awesome Blackout series. They have other ones with more decorative handles, uh, with more of a polished um, blade, which I did get one that has a, a polished blade. Um, and it had like a wood handle with scrolling engraved on it and then it looked like it had been burned to kind of give it an older look to it but also had the brass liners with the pins and the lanyard hole now the the sheets are all custom handmade too uh, stitched you can when they ask you to order it you can you want it right handed or left handed that means uh, vertical carry now the great thing about these are if I wanted to carry this on my right side, vertical, you have this hole here to put your belt through. But then if you wanted to, you could flip it around, run your belt through the middle, and you could, for me, I would carry it in the middle of my back to my left side. Now my only downside to these sheaths is that they're leather. And if you can see, I've already caught this one with the blade, trying to put the blade back in. Um, and that's the problem with leather is I end up cutting the leather up and actually on the other sheath for the other knife me being the bull in the china shop that I am as I was putting the blade back in I was, uh, it was a little tighter than this one and as I pushed it in I pushed all the way through the stitching and cut all the stitching on the sheath so what I had to do is then go and restitch it myself which was not fun. So to explain why I don't have the other knife, I typically, if I get a knife, a fixed blade that has a leather sheath, I'll send it off and have a uh, Kydex sheath custom made for it. Uh, so I sent it to a company in Anchorage, Alaska called Northern Knives. So you send them the knife, um, you pay up front, you give basic like um, so that they can charge you for what about what's going to cost the, the approximate blade length, what kind of a Kydex sheath you want, uh, what kind of a, um, you know, how is it going to attach to a belt or whatever. And then you prepay, you send them the knife, and they make the sheath to fit the knife, and then they send it back. So I only sent the one knife because they're actually identical in size, um, but I ordered two sheaths. I ordered a black one for this one, and then I ordered a like a brownish tan one for the other knife because it's more of a brown knife. So I'll be excited to get those back because uh, I always cut the shit up out of the leather with the blade trying to put it back in. I just can never, you know, get it back in without tearing the sheaths up. But they do, uh, I don't know if they warranty them against you damaging them, but I think average wear and tear, if like the snap were to break out or something or the stitching were to come loose, I think you can send it back to them. And they will fix that for you free of charge. Um, so I can't say enough about the knives. And again, if you're watching this video as I'm putting it out, this is the first weekend, August um, 2021. They are running a buy one, get one. So if you were to go to their whitenockler.com, the left tops menu, it'll drop down and you have a BOGO. And you click on BOGO and you put one item in the cart, it'll show up for its regular price. And then if you pick another item of equal or lesser value, you'll get it for free. So, awesome deal. Can't go wrong with that. I get deals from them all the time, and that's typically when I buy stuff from them. And it's all the time. So let me show you a few more other, a few other items. They're really known for their leather items. I have a couple of their belts, but I'll show you the black one. I've had this one for probably five years now. I do wear a lot of tactical belts, but when I'm just wearing you know, normal clothes or whatever, I will wear a leather belt, but this is a uh, really nice leather. It's almost quarter inch thick. It's a uh, top ring leather, and they do use a veg, ta veg tanning um, system, which is more envir environmentally friendly than other tanning ways. Um, if you don't know your different leathers, I watched a really cool video by uh, Jeremy Sears, probably about a month ago, and he explained all the different kinds of leathers. Now, if you were like me, when you saw genuine leather, you assumed that was like good leather. And in fact, genuine leather is at the bottom. Um, it's just leather, but it's not, you know, your best leathers. Um, 
the best leathers are your top grain and your full grain leather. Um, I do believe top grain is like the best leather, but they do kind of take the top layer off. They give it that smooth texture. And then a full grain leather will show all the imperfections of the cow. And I know um, that some people even desire like when a cow is uh, branded to show who owns it that'll sometimes show up on the product and that's kind of like a people like that because it shows that it's a it's a, a full grain leather but anyway i digress so if you want to know more about leather go watch that video so but again i've owned this belt for five years I wear the shit out of it and it's still in perfect condition perfect I mean, it's starting to show some wear, but I love the wear that you get from leather, good leather. It does have snaps here, so you could easily switch out the buckle if you wanted to, which is awesome. Um, everything about it is overbuilt, just really quality. And I think you can get these for under 50 bucks, which is amazing for such a high quality belt. I did purchase a like a biker's wallet with the uh, leather strap. To be honest with you, I have not worn this. I'm not a big fan of wallets. I think I got it as a combo deal. I bought something and the wallet came from it, but it's all hand stitched, nice, uh, thick leather. Um, nothing against it, it's just, I'm more of a, uh, like my Trayvax wallet, the smaller, you know, put it in my front pocket. And they just sent me this for free when I bought the buy one, get one for free knives. They sent me this little, you know, it's a little belt loop with a little quick release so you can put your keys on it. But again, very thick leather, real nice snap. Uh, just very high quality. Like I said, it just came free. So there's that. And then probably one of my, besides the knives, my favorite thing that I've gotten from them is this uh, hat. I wear the shit out of this when I'm outside working. Um, top, you know, really nice. It's called like a, I think it's like a chestnut leather color. Um, has snaps on the sides. Has this little retaining ring on the back so you can, you know, tighten it up. Also put it under your chin. You take the snaps off. Make it more of a hat to cover you from the sun or the rain. Now I have worn this in torrential downpours when I've been working outside. I've sweated all the way through it, and that's all I've done is sweat and let it rain out, let it dry out. I've added no, I haven't treated it yet because it hasn't actually started to show. The leather hasn't started to get dry or anything. Um, I will eventually treat it, but it's still looking great. I mean, it's just starting to show a little patina, and this is the extra large, so. Just give me an idea. I have, as well as big hands, I have a massive melon. So there you go. Again, wear the crap out of this when I'm working outside. Um, and I can't say enough about them. I think they come in black and then they come in this like chestnut color. And I've had this thing for probably four years and I wear it pretty much any time I'm working out. So give you an idea how big my head is. It's your typical like trucker hat and uh, I have it on the last two holes and actually if I wanted it to be comfortable it'd be on the last hole so that is how gargantuan my melon is all right and then the last thing that I have to show you all is they do work in wool products I'm not going to open this thing up because I'm afraid I will not be able to get it back to this beautiful shape but it's a really big a hand stitched wool blanket it comes in this roll with this leather apparatus that holds together with these nice hooks and what I do is uh, I put this behind my back seat on my one of whenever I'm riding the motorcycle and I'll zip tie it to the back seat so in case you know I get caught somewhere and it's cold you know or want to have a picnic or you know whatever it's just always nice to have something with you um, to keep you warm bike breaks down or whatever um, so I always strap this to the back of a bike or I'll just throw it in a vehicle I have yet to use it obviously and 
I mean, there's a part of me is afraid to unroll this because I'm afraid I'll never get it back to this pretty um, shape. But again, I got this on discount. They were running a special on this. Again, it is gigantic and really thick wool. Uh, this is like a, if you can't tell, it's like a blue with, blue with green highlights in it. Dark navy blue with uh, like a forest green. Again, with a very thick leather um, um, hooks and straps to hold it together. And again, I usually put it on the back of, the, of a Harley or throw it in a vehicle if I'm taking a trip somewhere. So, there you go. That is White Knuckler in a nutshell. They do show, sell clothing too. They have some like flannel shirts, denim, heavy denim shirts. Any product I've purchased from them, I've been very happy with. And uh, they have, I believe they have a lifetime warranty on all this stuff from any defects or damage. So you can send it back to them. Um, highly recommend them again. If you like the looks of that knife, I would definitely do the buy one, get one. You could always buy two of the same knife, give one as a gift, or like I did, buy two separate ones, and you get the lesser of the two for free. And uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to make another video here in a few minutes on another uh, item made here in the United States that I've really been enjoying. So thanks for watching if you are, and uh, I'm going to keep going with this series as I purchase things um, as I've gotten older I've started to purchase things more that I know that I'll keep that it will last for a lifetime instead of that throwaway crap that you know when you're younger you don't really think about so when I buy things I want to buy it once and not have to buy it again hopefully so and you can definitely um, do that with this white knuckler stuff so thanks for watching I'll talk to you later